Well, hello, my friends. It's been a while since I actually made a video specifically for you guys. But we figured on uh, updating on what's been going on. Of course, today we're still in St. Michael Azores and having a great time. Today is just a beautiful day in between the raindrops. <laughs> Raindrops. <laughs> the downpours. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we are enjoying a little snack outside. We are awaiting some company. There's um, two couples, two boats next to us that came from uh, not the meds, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Uh, so we invited them over and uh, maybe swap a little bit of stories um, So anyway, they are uh, Having their dinner I guess and uh, they'll be coming over shortly. We'll have some Wine beer or their ice cream for the kids now the funny thing the reason why I Wanted to bring this up before actually them coming over is because they both have two little girls and they come outside on the dock and they are fishing for ocean trash. So <laughs> one walks around with a net, one a bucket, one uh, from the other couple uh, has a boat, uh, boat hook and uh, they are adventurous. Uh, you know, they're, they're used to this type of life because they live aboard those two monohulls on the side of us. And uh, I mean, it's amazing seeing them jumping in and out without a problem and uh, running up and down the dock and you know, just having a, a blast. It's so nice to see kids amusing themselves these days without, without being a tablet or yeah. a cell phone or anything like that. They really yeah. entertain they're, themselves. They're out there picking ocean trash. No yeah. F fishing. <laughs> Fishy. Fishy. Uh, yeah. So, also, update on the catamaran. Um, our home. You can we're see. Trying, we're trying to get some fig trees going here. Yeah, yeah. Trying. Uh, we'll see how those make out. And those came from the house that I was, I was brought up at in Britannia. Uh, so, Fatima is. Uh, well, she went to the store a little while ago and bought a new uh, green thumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it seems to be working okay because things are looking pretty good throughout the boat. And of course the enclosure, which I'm still in awe on the way this came out. So we got screen all the time in place. If the weather is nasty, raining, we got the plastics that are rolled up and uh, it's on Velcro. We roll it down and that protects us. And uh, the doors, well, I can roll them up completely. But the way I see it also, for these anyway, I can always go in and out without a problem. And that one, I have the straps so I can roll it up if I'm navigating and I need to tend the lines in and out. So that will work. Over here, I know this location of this winch would be impossible to get a winch handle over here and be able to, uh, to use it. But the way I have this, this just slides out and it can be pushed out of the way. And now the handle can function. Push it out of the way, and now the handle can go all the way around without much of a, a hassle whatsoever. As a matter of fact, with the other net, it was harder to do this than it is with this. And what I used on the bottom over here was the same system of the track that I used on the top. So I cut a piece of track over here, and it's slightly flared up and rounded over on the edge. And I have this piece of fabric with uh, that webbing that's used for screen enclosures that you would uh, tuck in 
the screen between the aluminum frame and that we can use it over here and over here as well so to take it out just push it back i gotta go a little tight because i don't want it to slide out on its own but same system i'm gonna put the camera down for you too. Right there, so it's reinforced, it's nice and strong, it's not going anywhere. Also, a couple of days ago, because we had a lot of staining, this deck has had a couple of patches, and you know, I've been struggling to try to, to make it look good. So, a couple of days ago, we decided actually to paint this section and the floor in this area which the match came out really good that was uh stock white and i added some burnt sienna um just a little bit uh, of my oil paints mixed it up and you can see that this blend is pretty good i actually went to roll with a roller up to here and really almost no difference whatsoever on the uh, color match there's a slight difference and the sheen is slightly different but very little picked up an area rug for over here got two small rugs on the outside and there goes the uh the cleaning crew the ocean fishing garbage crew but anyway life is good. Life's good in some again. Life's good in some again? Life's good in some again. Yeah. So shortly we will be receiving um, a lot of family. Yeah, at the beginning of next month, family starts to arrive from uh, Albert's niece and then his sisters and his brother. <clears throat> so that should be fun. I feel like we know the island pretty good. Not. As a matter of fact, one of the neighbor boaters asked if, um, what was my favorite place? It's like the whole island. I can't pick one over the other. So it, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, reminiscing, uh, catching up. It was definitely overdue us coming over here again after me leaving in 68 and now we're leaving in, 70. in 1970. So yeah, we had been out of here forever in a day um yeah so now we're just sitting around enjoying the sunny sunday evening early evening so but it is very cool to watch these little kids going back and forth <laughs> yeah they're a crew of uh four little girls uh going out there from four to six i would say uh, yeah, but they're the ocean trash collectors. No, fish. The ocean fish, they're fishing uh, for the ocean trash. That was how the little girl put it to me. So I thought that was pretty cute. Uh, other than that, it's delightful in uh, some get. Everybody should come over here once in a while. Oh, wait a minute, we do have a lot of tourists here. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we get hit with a lot of uh, tour sh uh, ships, cruise ships. Cruise okay. ships, and they're coming from all over the world, from uh, China, from uh, Holland. You don't have to expect. From the States, all over. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I can't understand is they come and they stay here for uh, like 10 well, hours. Well, yeah, most of the time just one day, 24 hours stay. Not even. Yeah. They come in the morning and they leave in the evening. A lot of times. We've had ships over here for two, three days. Very few. Yes. Yes. But we've had. But ships. anyway, but we've had as many as uh, three cruise ships out here. At the same time. At the same time. Yeah. So. Yeah. And uh, at times uh, out there, this, the the city is like shoulder to shoulder with people. Uh, you know, people going in different directions and all the different languages. Uh, it, it's beautiful to hear. But uh, yeah, we've been here for eight months now and we're still having a great time. Uh, we will tell them about our plans. About our plans. 
plans, you know, our plans were we were going to go to uh, to the net, stop in Lisbon, go up. Spain. Well, hopefully, hopefully our plans uh, after the family leave at the uh, somewhere in the middle of August to the end of August, we'll be heading out of here after we get the bottom professionally cleaned because these waters are are tough. I mean, uh, we are in the marina, but uh, with ships going in and out, and there's a lot of boats, a lot of boat traffic in here, pretty choppy. And I have a fear of going under the boats to get that clean, so we gotta do that professionally. We're gonna head to Portugal, Lisbon, uh, maybe Algarve, uh, Spain, France, Italy, maybe not in that sequence, but we wanna see what's out there, yeah, head through the med see what we can explore and before the winter comes we want to start heading south maybe to the um, to Madeira and the Canary Islands before we head uh, back west uh, back to the United okay, States. Everyone go to the US Virgin Islands, the uh, British Virgin Islands, those islands down there, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know when you reach a certain age uh, a lot of names esca escape me so I'll blame that on old age. Anything else, my love? No. Well, hopefully we're gonna get on the ball game and uh, start putting out a video more frequently. You know, but it it's hard at times. It, it's, it's very hard at times because not everybody appreciates a camera in their face. Um, but uh, and we'll, you know, we'll try I, to, I, to I, be more diligent. I, I don't know how to record people's daily lives. Our daily lives are. Yeah, okay, we do go on excursions, but if not, it's doing boat work. And I don't want to bore people. You guys want to get bored with boat work? <laughs> and everybody uh, does boat work. Okay, we'll bring you guys back later. Yeah, we'll see if these couple... Good well, morning. Just got up a little while ago. Uh, the day after, our neighbors came to visit us. It was a great success. The day after the hurricane. <laughs> you could call it a hurricane, yes. The kids uh, took one of the cabins and they were, used it as a playground. So I got to go in there and make the bed. Also, they found our um, Christmas decorations. And they entertained themselves for a good portion of the night. Yeah, yeah. Playing with those... Uh... <laughs> they they uh, found that that bottom uh, container over there stores all our ornaments. And this whole area was covered with them. They were exploring, like and it was like they hit the jackpot. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun seeing them have fun. Yeah, we actually uh, had quite a nice gathering over here. They talked about yes. their adventures, their places that they've been to, and areas that we should stop at uh, based on our uh, route plan. So, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, uh, we'll see. Fun. We'll fun. see what uh, happens. It was just a great gathering. Boating community is uh, quite interesting uh, to start off with. It's very different from your typical home. This boat just pulled in. <laughs> they had a huge welcoming committee. So this is a great day over here. <laughs> They're celebrating their arrival. And... Uh, and us, well, we're kind of cleaning up a little bit after the the aftermath. It was quite a party. We had a great time. We were here for hours. I did not record any of it because I don't think that it's it's right to uh, film other people. I was tempted to ask if they would be okay with being on YouTube, but we just enjoyed it uh enjoyed the company the yeah it. we enjoyed it and uh, until it was time to say good night and uh they went over to their boat although i think the kids really did want to uh yeah the kids wanted to sleep over <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're old old fogies <laughs> and, for yourself. and uh, it's great to have uh children and see them play and all that but uh when it's time to go home it's time to go home <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like everything else. Yeah, it was fun. Okay, 
It was fun. Let's close it up. It, yes, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We're going to do that again. We're going to introduce ourselves uh, to other bowlers. But uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because it really helps our channel. Thank you again. See you guys next time. Take care, guys. We'll see you again. Well, I want to take a moment to thank the many different types of patrons that are out there that have helped us and continue to help us to the, uh, this point. Uh, starting off with those that actually go to my Patreon page and decided to donate uh, an amount uh, towards our cause, which has been immense in, uh, in boosting our I don't know uh, our presence uh, being on YouTube with this new channel um, and that goes down to those that like I said make monthly donations thank you very much but also to those that don't make monthly donations but have been a huge contribution to helping us on this lifestyle uh, my friend Lenny who's put many many hours helping sort out electrical issues that I had on the boat my brother Amos who lent me his car for the whole duration of the time that we've been over here in the Azores my sister and her husband in Bart and Fatima Resendiz for the use of their car and of course their gratitude and just gracefulness uh, of also letting me borrow their car during the time that I was in Fall River. Mark Fork being there every moment of the way, anytime I needed help on the boat, diving, retrieving my anchors several a couple of times, uh, just um, a great person to know and a wonderful friend uh, to, uh, that's out there. Thank you, Mark. Um, also, uh, being over here in the Azores, of course, with family members who have come a long ways to show us um, and welcome us uh, back to the island. Uh, my cousin Maria Carmen, her husband Roger, and the whole family just been uh, tremendous. Uh, just things could not be the same without them here. So everybody that has come along the ways and helped us and shown us support, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And that's what this life is all about. Thank you and take care.